All right, hey guys, it is the Rocky Swag, and I'm coming to you with my review of the Natsu no Taizai episode 16, The Cornered Legends. And this episode, oh my freaking gosh, may I say that Melly Otis is a fucking badass. Oh my god, Melly Otis, oh my god, ah. Uh, I would hate to see Meliodas like sincerely go all out. Like there would be death and destruction. Like when they show that crater that he created, but Meliodas is fucking awesome. Oh my god, really, just not prepared at all for what happened in this episode. Ha! Huh. Amazingness, awesomeness, just an abundance of epicness ensued in this episode because of course like in this episode we see like they are traveling blah 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 bond got another jacket that he stole from somebody how many people in this world has that same jacket that's the same size that seems to be extra small for bond maybe that's me i don't know but in this episode we see like they're like moving boar's hat and they were like inside talking. Well, they were outside drinking and talking. And of course, <clears throat> Galther being the person that he is, he's able to read people's memories. And he told Meliodas that the person who knocked him out when they were being accused of trying to overthrow the kingdom was actually one of the seven deadly sins. I, I believe her name is Merlin. And she was the one who actually knocked him out which really kind of sucks. So whenever they find her, there might be a battle that will ensue. But while all that was happening, Galther decided that he was going to be the observant person that he is. And first thing he observed was that Elizabeth is in love with Meliodas. And that's because her voice changes and her heartbeat increases when she talks to him, as opposed to when she talks to any of the other people in their group. And of course, Elizabeth blushed and she was like, well, I'm going to go back inside now. So after all of that, she, he starts reading everybody else's memories. Like he reads Bond memories where it shows that Bond actually stole. Well, first King and I think King and Meliodas were supposed to be fighting well all three of them were supposed to be fighting someone and bond stole their magic just to watch them struggle no he stole um king's and deanne's magic and just pretty much to watch them struggle he also told on deanne and pretty much said that um she was lying about her height that she was actually 30 feet when she and she says that she's 29 and melee was like that's only one foot what difference does that one will between 29 and 30 make and elizabeth of course was like well it matters to girls and then gouther also tried to tell what her weight was and she just started pounding him literally into the ground made it a crater in the ground from hurting like pounding on him and he also tried to tell that king is in love with deanne and he also mentioned something about elaine and it was just a whole ordeal and they were pretty much like, you need to stop reading people's memories. It's not okay. So <clears throat> after all of that, they go back inside and they're like, um, Gouther decides that he is going to greet Bond the way that Meliodas greets Elizabeth, which was like squeezing his boob. <laughs> of course, I didn't show it, but I thought it was funny. And, um, then they start talking and start talking about finding the other two sins and what they're going to do to find them. And... Um, Meliodas goes under Elizabeth's skirt and Deanne gets upset of course and then they're just like standing and they're talking and <clears throat> a mage pops up and steals Elizabeth so Hendrickson there well Hendrickson and Dreyfus are talking which is um Grimoire's father well first um Dreyfus was talking to how to um Hauser and um pretty much telling him that his vision was right that he knows that hendrickson is evil what he's been doing is wrong blah 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 so um after all of that um like i say you see hendrickson and drafe is talking and hendrickson pretty much tells him that his whole plan is pretty much almost complete that they are about to pretty much open the portal for the demon clan to come through and pretty much destroy the world so they can save it is what i gathered from it i could be wrong so then dreyfus was like you're evil i never should have believed in you and then hendrickson was like well i was the one who helped you kill 
the king so that way you could move up into power because he was your older brother blah 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 and Dreyfus looked appalled by this so that kind of sucks if you think about it that way and then um of course Meliodas he screamed at the top of his lungs when Elizabeth got stolen and he got Deanne to throw him Gowther and Bond like literally she threw them like pitched them towards the bit all well, towards the capital which it was four 40 miles away and she threw them that far. Deanna is awesome. <laughs> Deanna is amazing. That's one way to travel but what I don't understand is how they landed without being like landed completely unscathed was what I don't understand. <clears throat> but after they landed they were running towards the capital and people were coming towards them and then a whole bunch of knights let out all of their moves at one time and Meliodas full countered all of them and then he punched the dude so hard he literally like spun in in midair like i want to say like 30 times i wish i could punch somebody that hard that they would do that but that was freaking awesome <laughs> and then after that we see like them coming towards the capital and they feel like the strange like magical power that's coming from the other side of the capital and we see that it is arthur so the battle is about to ensue it looks like things are about to get really really interesting i'm so looking forward to next week's episode because this episode was freaking awesome just the fact that meliodas full countered like 15 different moves at one time makes him amazing oh my god really was not prepared so yeah this episode was freaking awesome so as always i would love to hear how you guys felt about this episode who do you think that arthur is because i feel like it's somebody that we might already know but i'm not absolutely sure so yeah so as always please move to comment thumbs up and subscribe it helps out a whole lot and this is Subaki swag saying adios <laughs>